I got, I got Austin last night, I was saying the same thing, half past I'd be dreaming you, and you pick up the phone and you go, and uh, Austin, sorry, Austin Healy, I, I, I chatted him last night, and he said that once Clive rang him at five in the morning, and he answered the phone, and, uh, and Clive's like, oh, hello, Austin's like, hello, he's like, uh, what are you doing? He says, Clive, I've just come back from training, yeah. at five in the morning, yeah. Yeah. he's like, Basically, he said, he goes, because he, he dropped me from the 99 World Cup squad uh, by our email at 3.57 in the morning. I know, because I just got in. Um, <laughs> and look, I was drunk, so I didn't really care. Um, but, uh, yeah, with the Austin one, he, he used to ring at 4.30, between 4.30 and 6, knowing that you wouldn't answer the phone. And then, so if anyone did get that phone call, you knew exactly what was going on. And, yeah, as you say, Austin picks it up and... Uh, and he answers it, and Clive's like, oh, oh shit. <laughs> not, not expecting to get you, and Austin's obviously no mate pro. Uh, it's obviously yeah. a fe- professional era now, stretching, protein shake. <laughs> and then he waffles on through it, yeah. But let's go, I've got a lot to cover here, uh, but I want to kind of cover the 2003 and the World Cup. Um, but kind of going into it, you won the kind of Six Nations, uh, you know, the Grand Slam. How confident were you guys going down there? To us? Did you think it was yours to lose? Um, yeah, I think we did. I think, you know, if you go back to 99, obviously 99 at that point uh, was the worst England had ever done going out in the quarterfinals to South Africa. Clive admitted he got a lot wrong and he did get a lot wrong. He, um, he, we overtrained probably before that World Cup. He set laws like you, if you got injured in training and you dropped out, you get dropped from the squad. You know, Gareth Archer famously ha- like basically walked in, handed back all his kit, his fu- uh, his phone, his computer, and said, "Fuck this, I'm out." And his um, client was like, "Okay, fine. If you're going to be like that, we don't want you in the squad." And then I had to go back begging him to come back. Um, so you know, he just got bits wrong. But then, to be fair to him, he changed everything from 2000 onwards and always said judges on that. We obviously we lost two Grand Slam games in that lead up in 2000, 2001, and then in 2002 we lost to France away. And then just got it right, 2003. And, but it had been a journey that we went through. And if, if you look at it from my point of view, um, I went to that World Cup having played around 36 tests. I'd only lost four. Um, and I'd never lost to Australia, I'd never lost to New Zealand. And I'd lost once to South Africa in, in the summer of 2000. And when you go over there with that much confidence of, and, and obviously coming off the back of beating them in their own backyards in, in the summer of 2003, beating New Zealand with 13 men, uh, you know, you go in there with, for, for, for the young guys, you know, you look at sort of um, myself, uh, Ben Cohen, uh, Jason Robinson, uh, Josh, uh, Steve Thompson,